we first set up the webinar series, um, one of the points of view we shared is, is the fact that there are a lot of companies uh, out there at various stages of, of maturity uh, within, within analytics. And in, invariably, in our engagements uh, with clients, uh, there's there's always you know a bit of hesitation on on around you know ultimately how do we get started how do we you know start to begin the journey get over the inertia of of being able to to do the things we we long know we've needed to do but in, in a way that uh, you know has has a bit of a, a roadmap that's realistic for for companies that are that are in early stages of really understanding what to, what to do with analytics and. I thought I'd go back to this concept at the end, just to tie it together. Uh, fundamentally, what we have found works best is a stair-step approach uh, to customer analytics. And this is in large part uh, rooted in the fact that the challenges we see in, within every organization uh, deal with four key areas of people, process, technology, and data. From a people perspective, so many companies are struggling with uh, the fact that they've got one or two or maybe three people uh, that are tasked for all things analytics or business intelligence or, or data warehousing. The technologies are, and the hype around the technologies are far outpacing company investment in in staffing to 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 do something with the technologies. Uh, from yet, despite this, uh, there are so many more lines of business. Lexi alluded to the fact that you've got finance and you've got marketing and you've, you've got uh, supply chain, you've got all of these different constituencies that in some way want more freedom, more autonomy in being able to navigate data, but doing so in a, in a, um, in, in a curated or governed way. Uh, as I said earlier, there are, there's never been more technology choices out there that uh, companies need to contend with are in and around the area of business intelligence and, and, and more uh, holistically in and around uh, the area of customer analytics. And, and despite the advances in technologies and, and the appetite uh, for these an for analytics, most companies are finding themselves in this, this uh, um, scaling out uh, conundrum that, that Lexi so well put, where you've got all of these diff different disparate data sources all over the place and no real unified vision or, or mechanism around bringing that uh, in-house. So what we often say is what's needed is not to approach uh, the, the entry point of your analytics journey through purely a tools or technology uh, uh, lens, because that's only part of the piece of, of, the, of the overall puzzle. You've got to first evaluate how different people within the organization will want to consume the information. Is it self-service? Is it outputs of models? Is it uh, embedded within a workflow of some sort of CRM or, or uh, accounting type of system? Uh, you then need to be able to anticipate the demands uh, from those uh, constituents, from those different stakeholders by implementing processes for triaging and prioritizing and reconciling the different requests and questions that come in. Uh, you need to then use that knowledge of who, who, who your end users are, how they want to consume the data, the processes that need to exist to start to prioritize and rationalize the use cases, the reference architecture, and ultimately the, the investment decisions that need to be made around technology. And then finally, all of that should drive the, the strategy and the, and the um, sequencing of how you start to take the data that's scaled out and, and, and bring, br begin to bring it in and begin to centralize it and govern it in a way that really drives a business value within three months. Uh, all of that is possible if you start in and around the area of, of customer analytics. Invariably, uh, if, if, if you had to pick a single important area through which to focus first on, on really driving return on investment and, and, and consequential impact in your business, uh, you should you should take a look at what 41% of other organizations are, are are looking at increasing investments in, which is the area of, of customer analytics. This is a chart that I had shown previously uh, that Gartner does uh, annually uh, research around expected technology investments in different areas in and around analytics and customer analytics has been top of the list for several years, and you'll see the gap 41%. It's by by far the leading area that companies are are uh, you know are concerned with. So. Given all of that, you've got the challenges around people processing tech, you've got uh, you know, disparate data all over the place. 
and you've got this this uh, uh, clear uh, market research and, and and overall trending around more companies wanting to pursue more cu customer centricity and personalization efforts and, and just a better understanding of the customers. How do you get started in customer analytics? That was essentially the topic of of webinar one. It's 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 delve into the analysis. It's a short term phase. Lots of iterations, lots of different work in and around data exploration. Uh, this 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 again is enabled through a whole a variety of different tools that exist out there, uh, and it's never been easier in terms of a of of a, of a point of entry than to do the, some of this type of work as we showed with uh, Azure Machine Learning at the you know at the top of the webinar series. Ultimately, analysis can't. And that exists just for analysis sake. And a lot of organizations fall down on, on, on this step. They'll come up with insights, but there's never really an eye towards automating or instrumenting uh, the, the workflow, the dashboards, the reports, the downstream systems with those insights. And that's where the theme of webinar two came in and the second step of the evolution, which is all around automation. How do you start to create processes to remove the need for, for so much manual work and analysis? be able to socialize those incomes and make those insights actionable. We walk through an example of a um, of, of how you could consume churn within a dashboard uh, within the Power BI environment. And then finally, how do you scale that out? That was the theme of, of today's webinar. Uh, it's invariably when you're focused on a customer analytics uh, uh, effort, marketing tends to be the loudest, clearest voice that uh, justifiably uh, has many of the initial needs within a roadmap perspective, but what about finance? What about merchandising? What about some of these other departments that may have uh, equally, if not more uh, important use cases in and around that type of data? And, and so scaling out beyond the departmental view to the enterprise view has got to be a component of the roadmap. And again, uh, the technologies exist today where you don't have to cobble together many different vendors, many different stacks to get there, and you, you don't have to necessarily be looking at 18, 24, 36 months to be able to realize that. Finally, it, it, I should mention that beyond scaling, there's, there's, there's invariably a rinse and repeat. There's a feedback loop. How do you start to take those insights? How do you start to take uh, uh, you know, the outputs of, of recommendations and actions uh, that are a result of scaling uh, the analytics insights and ultimately further enrich, further scale out uh, the data that you have about how people are responding, how departments are responding to to essentially create even more momentum around uh, the data assets that you, you have at your disposal. So that was essentially the series recap. Number one, we talked about analysis and, and we delved into nine different use cases that uh, ultimately are the lowest hanging fruit in and around driving immediate value or immediate impact within customer analytics, within the areas of customer loyalty, customer experience, and customer journeys. And we specifically went into churn uh, or, or customer retention, which is a key lever uh, to pull within the customer loyalty realm. We talked about automation, and we showed dashboards, automation, and, and, and the governance of, of that model within a larger framework, within, within a more typical workflow that would exist for line of business. And then finally, we talked about scaling up and scaling out uh, uh, from there. How do you how do you go beyond just marketing and really uh, support other areas of of the business?